Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Happy Wednesday to you. We thank God for this glorious day. The Lord is good and all the time. His faithfulness endures forever. Amen. This is every word of God for daily living. Lord, I bless you. I give you glory, honor, adoration. I worship you. I thank you, Father, for this is the day that the Lord has made you rejoice and be glad in it. Thank you, Father, for this day. Thank you for your faithfulness. Thank you for your goodness. Blessed be your holy name, Lord, in the name of Jesus. Lord, we're about to hear your word again. Father, come and speak to us. Come and fill us with your word. Oh, Lord, release the power of your word, oh God. Let it bring salvation. Let it bring deliverance. Let it bring repentance in the name of Jesus. Father, we pray Oh God, that the hearts and minds of your children, oh God, will be open to receive your word. In the name of Jesus, oh, I bind the forces of darkness and the powers of hell. The Lord rebuke you. I destroy your yoke. I destroy your power. In the name of Jesus, you will not prevail. I pray that the listeners will understand the word of God and we understand and see the mind of God and begin to live according to the will and the purpose of God. In the name of Jesus. Thank you father holy spirit prefer jesus prefer in the name of jesus oh living water let me drink from you holy spirit let us drown in you living water let from you, Holy Spirit, let us drown in you, a swift calm Lord, living water, let us drink from you, Holy Spirit, Let us drown in you. We need your power, Lord. We need your glory, Lord. We need your presence. Come and rule in this place. Yeah. We need your power, Jesus. We need glory we need your praises lord come and rule oh god we sing living water let me drink from you holy spirit let me drown in you Live in water, live in water. Oh, let me drink from you, Holy Spirit, Holy Spirit. Let us drown in you, Holy Spirit. Give me. That I may not test no more. Holy Spirit, make me a well of water. Springing up into everlasting life. Holy Spirit, oh. Spirit, give us living water that I may not test no more. Holy Spirit, make us well of water, springing up. 
one more time holy spirit give me living water that i may not taste no more holy spirit make me a well of water springing up into everlasting life yes lord we have come oh god that you make us well of water that you will give us the living water that we will not test no more that we will spring up into everlasting life thank you father blessed be your name thank you lord for what you're about to do only you be glorified be exalted oh lord in jesus name we pray amen hallelujah glory be to god our topic today is Misconception on the use of joyries. Hallelujah. This is Pastor Parika, the International Director of the Holiness Ever Movement Worldwide Short from Horemo. Today is Wednesday, August 17th, 2022. I text taken for the book of Exodus chapter 33, verse 4 to 6. I read, And when the people heard this evil tidings, they mourned, and no man did put on him his ornament. For the Lord has said unto Moses, say unto the children of Israel, ye are a stiff-necked people. I will come up into the midst of thee in a moment and consume thee. Therefore now put off thy ornaments from thee, that I may know what to do unto thee. And the children of Israel stripped themselves of their ornaments by the Mount Horeb. This is the word of God. Hallelujah. A key verse is taken from the book of Isaiah chapter 61 verse 10. I will greatly rejoice in the Lord. My soul shall be joyful in my God. For he had clothed me with the garments of salvation. He had covered me with the robe of righteousness as a bridegroom decked himself with ornament and as a bride ordained herself with joyries. Hallelujah. Adorn it. Sorry, that word is adorn it herself with joyries. Hallelujah. I take our reading. The church is in a great dilemma concerning the use of joyries. Many have used several misunderstood scriptures to comfort themselves and to silence the voice of their conversations or of their conscience on the use of joyries. Many Christians often argue that it was God that instructed that the joyries be put on the sons and daughters of Israel. It was not strange because having stayed in Egypt for a time without the knowledge of God, the Israelites were practicing idolatry and the use of joyries went together with idolatry. Their use did not continue in the dressing pattern among godly Israel. Hallelujah. It could also be Consider that putting jewelries on their sons and daughters was for preservation until they would be required in the wilderness. Hallelujah. Preservation. That means preserving their jewelries on themselves until they will need it in the wilderness. God demands total stripping of ornaments from every Christian that has the goal of making heaven. Just as it happened among the children of God in Mount Horeb. The Bible says, the Lord told them, take these things off you. Take it off until I know what I will do with you. Are you getting me? The Lord was so angry with them that he told them, take this thing off my sight until I know what I will do with you. That means God has put them in a state and God want them to take the ornaments, the idolatry, 
the thing that is angering God, take it off his sight until he's, he comes down and then he knows what he will do with his people. Those who understand the coming judgment of God and the evil that will befall mankind definitely keep away all forms of joyries. However, in churches where the usual practice is jumping and dancing and celebration of the worldly lifestyle, none among them will experience godly sorrow. They will not experience it. None of them would experience godly sorrow, which leads to repentance. Hmm. Hallelujah. The clothing of God over his children is salvation and righteousness, which gives great spiritual glory and joy. To clear the confusion in the body of Christ, God has taken many people from different races, tribes, and nations to heaven and to hell to see what is going on there to receive clarity on the use of juries by holy christians hmm. the scriptures is very clear about the use of juries if only you approach it with an open heart if only you have not been sold into idolism or idolatry of jewelries. Remember in the time of Jacob, he was going to worship God in Bethel. Jacob went to his people. He says, take away the idol in thy hands and earrings and the idols in thy hand. Jacob was going to worship in Bethel, but he told them to take away their earrings and to take away the idols in the hand. If you were, if you listen to that a message, there's a dead devotion and a daddy wrote concerning that. We carefully consider that scripture. Why did Jacob tell his people, his kinsmen, to take away their earrings when he was going to worship God, when he was going to Bethel, to seek the face of God, to sacrifice unto God. Why did he tell them to take away their earrings and the idols in their hand? And today we know idols as, um, okay, let's say a statue. It's, they cannot be carrying statues in their hand, right? Maybe it can be something that it can fit their hand and they can move with their hands. And we consider that day that it may be a bracelet, a ring, a chaplet, a wristband. These things were the idols in the hand. Let the eyes of your understanding be enlightened that you will know the will of the Father. That you will know the reason why God says that we should not put on cherries. Why we are saying joyries can take you to hell. Many people have visited heaven and they have visited hellfire. And many have testified that it is because of joyries that they saw somebody in hell. It is because of joyries that someone could not make heaven. Oh, sister. Why doubt these things? Even if it is not true. Is it not better for you to get there? And the Lord said, oh, what a zealous daughter are you? What a wonderful child are you? Oh, it didn't matter, but you sacrificed for, for me. You took a wise decision. Although it didn't matter, enter into my kingdom. And then you enter into the kingdom of God and even the Lord applaud you for being zealous. But what if it is true and you refuse to take the counsel that joyries are, are idols and can lead you to hell. You refuse to take the counsel and you die and you meet God. What will happen? What will you tell God? I didn't believe. I didn't see it clearly in the scripture. I didn't understand. Oh, I wanted to die like others. 
and also come to edge with my testimony. And the Lord will tell you, it's too late. It is too late. It is too late. Which one is better? Be the fool. Or be the wise here on earth and the fool for eternity. Ah. May the eyes of our understanding be enlightened. May the Lord teach us his word. May the Lord give us grace to live for him. To forsake all for him. To suffer for Christ. For the Bible says that all that must live godly here on earth must suffer persecution. Must suffer persecution. It is better for you to be called a fool for Christ than for you to say, ah, wise in Christ. Jesus humbled himself. People will say, ah, he, what kind of thing is that? He humbled himself like a fool. And he died. But he, all power belongs to him. He humbled himself as if, as if he didn't have any power. But he had the power even to take the nail from he that was nailing his hand to the cross. He had the power to take the hammer, lose himself from the cross, and come down and destroy who was nailing him, was laying cause and accusation on him. But he decided to humble himself. Sister, that jewelry we are putting on you, let's carefully consider this. It has become a snare to you. You want to be buying all the goats, big and small, circle and different shape, demonic shape and normal shapes. Put on your body. Oh, the one that you used to go to this party today, you cannot use it to go to the next party tomorrow. You want everybody to hail you and praise you. Pride has come. You have gone out of faith. You want everybody to see you as the one that is reigning. Oh, the big lady. Ah, this woman is married to a rich man. No. Ah, they think that you are heaven and earth because of the gold you have in your body. The fake gold you have. Whether it's fake or real. Because of what you have in you. To some... It was the last money in their accounts. It was the money their husband gave to pay their school, their children's school fees. It was the money they had to add to their business. In, in fact, to some, they, they are wearing jewelries on credit. This evil has lingered. When will your eyes be open to know that this is? These things are evil. If Jacob could tell his people to give the jewelries, to give their, uh, uh, what, how did they say it again? To give their earrings and the idols in their hand, which we consider carefully that is the rings and the bracelets, the chaplet, the wristband, anything you can put in your hand. And he's going to worship the father. And now the, the spirit of God lives in us. We are the temple of God. Every day, Jesus is in us. So why should you put jewelries for a moment and remove it later? Why should you put it at all when the Spirit of God dwells in you? God is in you. At that time, the Spirit of God has not even come. Not to talk of now that the Spirit of God is. May the Lord reveal himself to us. May the Lord deliver his children. May the Lord show you the thing that the devil has set aside to accuse you before God that day. That plans of Satan against your life. That he has so much carved. In fact, he has seated on it and he said, you cannot come out from it anymore. He have you in his hand and he's just waiting for you to die and go to hell. May the Lord reveal himself to you. May the Lord reveal that secret to you. And may he give you the power to pray yourself out, to deliver yourself, to repent and come to salvation in the name of Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. Our thought for the day says, heaven's glory exceeds the fading beauty of the earth. Wow. For the Bible says that the earth 
and all the elements in it shall melt away shall melt away heaven and earth shall pass away but the word of God remains the same stand that sure hallelujah hallelujah God be with you God give you understanding God calls you to stand in his righteousness and in his holiness that you will prevail you will overcome you will hear well done we will all hear well done by the message of God sister brothers because even the brothers put on dryers too put on earrings on their ears put on these things on their hand take heed why it is called today may the Lord help us keep you cause his face to shine upon us and bless us today in Jesus name Amen